Oh my goodness, what I just saw. Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net. I was honestly expecting the first video for this channel of 2020 to be my Simpsons DVD review. It's frustrating, all the clips are there, I just need to take the time to edit them together. And no, I I, I just finished watching John Campy's, uh, Campia's little rant against Collider and their second in command. Um, I believe his name was Jack Hind, something like that. Jack Hind. I, I, I don't know what his name is. But anyway, that was so, such an epic thing that I just saw that it's like, okay, I... I don't care if it's a trend thing. I don't care if people want to claim that it's clickbait. It's like, I got to talk about this. So anyway, John Campia. Um, he is a guy that I love to watch, primarily because I love to disagree with him. Um, I, I, I've said it before. I sense that if um, me and him were sitting in a room together, we'd be like Siskel and Eber. We would talk about our favorite subject, which is movies, we would have strong disagreements, we'd probably get in a slightly heated discussion because we both have very strong opinions on the subject. However, at the end of the day, we'd shake hands and, you know, like we were brothers moving on to something else. I would hope anyway. Um, but, you know, I, I love watching his show. I don't agree with him a lot, but I just, I love the way he articulates his opinions. Like, I just love when people can share their opinions and they're smart about it. So, therefore, I watched the John Campia show, and I, I, I was unprepared for what was gonna, I was going to see tonight. Now, he worked at, um, for, for another company. He worked for a couple companies. You know, he worked for AMC. He worked for um, Collider, and Collider, as you know, recently canceled most of their shows, including like Jedi Talk and stuff like that. I never watched, I didn't watch Collider to be perfectly honest, so this doesn't affect me that much, but my heart goes out to the people who lost their jobs, obviously. And he was, he had built that company and had been very professional about the circumstances of his leaving and what he thought about the company now. And when he made his comments on the current status, like, because, he was very professional. He was very courteous. And that's another thing I like about Campia. He he is like a prof he does strike me as a scholar and a gentleman. However, um when you piss him off, boy does he get pissed off. And well, there was this kid, Jack Hind, I believe his name was. If I'm getting that wrong, I'm sorry. Who a day after canceling all the Collider shows and letting go of the talent, decided to get on Twitter and, you know, throw them under the bus. He said, well, now you know why we're doing this instead of this, and Campia just flips out on him. You know, he calls him a lot of words that I can't say because this is a G-rated channel. He calls, he says, hey, I built that company. You have no right to disrespect it. You have no right to throw the talent under the bus. And you know what? I <laughs> wanted to clap. I wanted to get up and cheer, and it's like, you know, here's the thing about drama on YouTube, because I've commented on a fair amount of drama in my time. I, I'm trying not to do that as much anymore. Um, maybe I'll make more Simpsons videos, who knows? But drama is an effective way to get views. People like watching drama. The thing is, drama is usually fairly shallow. It's... It's not usually intelligent. It's just a bunch of grown men bickering for the most part. But once in a while, when it's done properly, it's very special. This is how it's done very specially. It's pretty clear that Campia did not make this video to start drama. It's going to start drama. It's trending on Twitter, I believe, right now. But he did it because he felt personally offended for people who had been wrong and they there's no denying they were wrong i mean i thought he was being extremely polite the first time he talked about him saying like should they have given them an opportunity to make one last show maybe should they have given their you know employees like more than a couple hours notice probably and it's like <laughs> no definitely in both those cases i just took a shower sorry so my hair's kind of like floppy but 
it's it, it, was, it was like wow <laughs> just <laughs> he, he was much nicer than I would have been and then Jack Hind goes on and he throws the employees under the bus and Campia just ripped into him and it was so satisfying it was so incredibly satisfying to see him stand up for the former talent he used to manage and work with and I I just loved it I I loved it I you know I I mean I kind of live around him so I mean in fact he was at uh, Universal Studios today I believe and we we were there like a little earlier so you know we we must have missed each other I, I would love to shake his hand for that like that was just that was awesome that was absolutely awesome and whoever owns collider you know what you should really look at what john has said you should really think about what he said you should absorb what he said because he's right collider wants to do different things and you know it's your product if you want to do different things I, i'm kind of softly rebooting my other channel not this one but my other channel the entrepreneur which had built a brand for itself and that brand is suffering it's not getting the views it used to so therefore we're changing the game i understand once in a while i have to go in a different direction however what this new guy is proposing like as campia pointed out it does not build a community and it's clickbait and it's drivel and it will be forgotten once the new trend comes along it absolutely will so uh oh i was gonna say there's something what was i going to say See, I'm doing this a lot live now, but and I I really lost my train of thought. That that annoys me so much. Dire direction. Oh yeah, now I remember. This is what happens when you give someone who does not have experience, who does not respect history of anything who wants to make his mark on the world and is way too gung-ho about doing it without thinking about how the previous people left their mark on the world. You know, it's... Whenever there's, like, a new executive that comes to, like, a TV station, they they tend to do what I call clean house. I mean, I talked about this in my Muppets video, the one that is really popular, where I blamed the cancellation of the Muppets not necessarily on the low ratings because it was poised to come back for a second season. It has merchandise. It has attractions at Disney World. There were reasons to keep the show around, but they got a new executive, and the new executive basically canceled every new or semi-new show that was on the network at the time. However, that executive did not cancel things like Grey's Anatomy, because it's your top-rated show. Why would you do it? What this situation looks like is a new executive came in, wanted to put his mark on it, but instead of creating new shows to work alongside what's already popular, or create cancel the shows that aren't working so well, and replace them with a few new shows, he decided to just get rid of the entire legacy. He had no respect for what had been built, what was there, what community was there. He just said, like, you know what, I'm just, we're just getting rid of it, and I'm going to do what I want to do because I know best. Dude, I mean, I, I agree. Campia made a comment like he doesn't look like he went through puberty. I agree. It doesn't look like this kid went through puberty. He looks like some snot-nosed little kid who... You know, daddy got him a job. So, now again, I, I've never, I don't watch Collider. I, I don't think I've ever seen Collider. If I did, it was a long, long time ago. So, my viewing is not going to be affected by this. But again, my heart goes out. But I, I will say, already from the sounds of things, old Collider was a million times better than current Collider, who wants to just do deep fake videos and stuff like that. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. So, Look, look, I'm sure a lot of people will be talking about Campia's roast, and I'm probably not adding a whole lot to that conversation. However, I, I just want to say, yeah, that was great. It totally needed to be said, and who better to say it than from the guy who built that company? I mean, <laughs> it almost kind of felt like Walt Disney coming back from the grave and looking at, like, the Michael Eisner run Aero Disney and just laying like you are destroying what I built like you need to get away from it as soon as possible if I were the people at Collider I would get rid of Jack Hind I would bring in someone else 
to fix it. I would probably revive at least a couple of those shows, and that that's what I would do. Like, do save it. It's not too late. It's just been a few days since those shows were canceled. I'm sure you can get rid of this kid and make sure that you you're you're taking your channel in the proper direction. So that's what I'm going to say. This was like a this was like a quick 10 minute live stream. I did see some comments in there about people wanting me to do more Simpsons videos. There is a Simpsons video coming within a week. I don't think I'll be unboxing the 20 season DVD box set though and I'll explain why in the Simpsons season 19 review. But anyway, you know the drill. Comment below, like, share, subscribe and as always flame responsibly. Have a good one.